All right, so let's go ahead and try a right-brained approach at instantiating superior, but within Live. This video is going to be for all those using Ableton Live that want to get superior up and running. I'm going to show you how to do a stereo output of superior, and then we're going to build on that same stereo output and make it into a multi-channel output, okay? So what I'm going to do is come on over here to my left-hand column, and I want to go ahead and choose the plugins right there, plugin devices, okay? And right here, you have the option of going to the audio units version of superior, if you like. Come on down to the tune track folder, and then choose superior, okay? Or you could also come right here to where it says VST, and you can go ahead and choose the VST version. Let's just go ahead and do that. Click on it and drag it onto the MIDI channel. Boom. And then your user interface is going to come up like so, and it's going to start loading all your pieces and whatnot, okay? And from this point on, you can go ahead and start rocking out with a stereo output if you like. See, just like that there. Everything works. You can record, okay? And that's handy if you need to get in and get out of Superior and Live really quick, okay? Now, if you later on decide that you want to go ahead and start tweaking individual kit pieces, that's cool too, not a problem. First step that we want to take is to come on right here to where it says Mixer. And let's go on down to where there is an output column right here. And if you click right there, you're going to get the option to send each channel to its own output, okay? But for this example, we're going to choose multi-channel, and we're going to let Superior route it, okay? See how they put all the kick drums out to one, two, and then they did the snare drum top and the uh, compressor right there to output three, four, snare drum bottom, five, six, so forth and so on. Now, there are a couple of other things that I want to go ahead and do. For example, let's go ahead and cut these faders here up and i want to go ahead and activate the mic bleeds on these channels because as of right now they have not been activated okay select all just like that close it select all close it and i can always come back later on and you know adjust the volumes on them and i will cover that in a later video just stick around and i will show you how to do that now, whenever we go into our construct page right here, all you're going to hear is the kick drum because that is the only channel we have going in live that is receiving audio. Okay, output one and two. See, you don't hear any other kit pieces right now. That's not a problem. Let's go ahead and close our user interface. And right here where it says superior, I want to go ahead and right click and I want to create group tracks. Okay. And right there, that's going to enable me to have everything in one nice group. Watch what I'm talking about. This audio track, I don't need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag it over to where it says group right there. Okay, and drop it on down. And now I have one audio channel in the group. Now from this point on, what we're going to do is just create a whole bunch of audio channels. So let's go ahead and do that by right clicking. And let's do insert audio track. Okay, let's go ahead and do it again. And we're going to do this a few times. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, key command for it. See, there we go. And I'm going to get, uh, we'll get about 13. Okay, now, since I am limited on my real estate, so to speak, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the plug-in device window here by clicking that little arrow. And I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of the return channels here and my sins by doing that there. All right, but I am going to go ahead and get a look at my I.O. section. We are going to need that for the next step. I'm going to go ahead and choose the last audio channel, select it, and now I'm going to press and hold my shift button, and I'm going to select the first audio channel, okay? Now what I want to do is, is I want to receive audio from Superior, okay? And if you look, they just now changed all my channels, all right? Another thing that I want is to turn all channels to monitor in, okay? Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and start getting our individual channels together, okay? Now, if you look right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get our interface back up and let me go ahead and solo that particular channel. You'll see, okay, that is our kick drum channel, which remember is output one and two, right? Right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and start routing all the other pieces, okay? And to do that, let's come on where it says post mixer, and let's squeeze on down to where it says S34, 
S4 5. Okay. And now what we can do is, is we'll be able to hear that is going to be our snare top. Right there. See? And now the next one will be 5 6. Okay. Just like that there. And once again, I want to show that to you so we're on the same page. That is the snare drum bottom. Okay. And let's keep on doing this. All right. And the reason, just in case you're wondering, the reason I'm soloing this out is because everything is set to receive the kick drum channel right now. And that blow our eardrums out. You know what I mean? But anyhow, let's go ahead and do this. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And let's see if we need any more right now. Go into our mixer. We'll scroll on down. Nope, looks like 2122 is our, our highest output, so I actually overshot it just a little bit. That's okay. We'll go ahead and just highlight that channel and press backspace to delete it. Now, whenever we play the set, we will see that we have our own individual outputs for everything. Wow, that has a real big sound to it, doesn't it? That almost has a, uh, I don't know. Almost has that uh, Led Zeppelin type of feel to it, doesn't it? But anyhow, now what we want to do is go ahead and rename all these channels so that we know what it is. Okay, right here, we know that's going to be our kick drum. Now you can name it if you like, kick drum. But that is going to change the name of all of these right here as well. So I just like keeping mine on Superior Drummer. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Snare Drum Top. Snare Bottom. Hi hat, toms, overhead, ambient close, ambient mid, ambient far. Ambient mono, and last but definitely not least, is the bullet. Okay, so now that we've taken all the necessary steps to make our kit pieces have their own channel, and we've named them, we want to go ahead and save this, okay? And what I'm going to do is, this is just me, is I like to sometimes go into my preference right here, and then I can save this as my default template by clicking on that right there. And that way, every time I cut live on, that's what's going to happen. It's going to go ahead and load up all the goodies that we just now did. Okay. But if you don't want to take that route, that's cool. You can always save the live set or save it as whatever you choose. Okay. Just name it however you want and don't forget where you saved it. All right. But that is all there is to it. Now y'all stick around, I've got some more work to do with some other dolls before we get into the meat and potatoes, okay? Thanks so much for watching, y'all take care, bye-bye.